Okay. Already? Yeah, cool. Love all rogues, pleasure to meet you. Hello, we are the Love All Rogues. <laughs> Can you tell us your names? My name is Eddie. My name is Steve. <laughs> we're we're, we're, we're all fixing if it's broke. I'm Eddie. I'm Sonny. I'm Tate. And, and we're, we're the Love All Rogues. There we go. We've yeah. never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> you made it through the, to the final of Britain's Got Talent, you came fourth. Well, you stood out, totally stood out to myself. And um, I will say it's the kiss of death coming first anyway, which proves to be that way generally. How's life been since then? Uh, life has been very different since we finished on Britain's Got Talent. It's been really good, actually. Um, I'd say so. Yeah, yeah. not bad. Yeah. <laughs> we've, done a lot, we've, done, we've done, obviously, we've not stopped gigging. We've been signed to a record. We've released a single, which is also very exciting, on our on our way to releasing an album. It's amazing. There's loads of festivals, gigs. Up, you said that. Can I pause? Are we looking at you? Or are we looking yeah, at no, you? no. Look at anything you like. Oh, yeah, yeah probably, probably myself. I'll look at you. Yo, like, that one's lovely. <laughs> 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 the camera's probably better looking We've just me, been on tour with Ollie Murs, which yeah. is great fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's but good yeah. Right. How would you class yourself musically then? Musically, I'd say we're kind of scar. Scar and pop. Musically, I'd say we're scar and pop. I'd describe our sound as scar and pop. I don't know what you're talking about, anyway. <laughs> I'd describe our sound as. Yeah, 100%. Do you reckon musically I'd Shut say up, man! So no one's met you before, and you yeah, go musically, I'll say, say oh, that's a pain. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. Right. Hey, I'd describe our sound as scar infused pop. Good stuff. <laughs> in, a, in a nutshell, how did you meet? Um, in a nutshell, we met at college. <laughs> that was so, you, you signed to to Psycho, Simon Cow's label, obviously. Does he still have a big influence in, in the future? That the projects as a mentor. Simon is still very much involved in our whole project and process of like what we're doing at the moment. Um, he's here, or uh, obviously after he come back from America, he's been really hands on, and he's kind of had a first hand. I've lost myself. Sorry. Simon's like a massive yeah. fan as well as like a businessman. So we're like the sort of creative side is there and we like let him do the business sort of side, so it's a good relationship. He wouldn't want to get involved in the creative bit, neither we would want yes. to get involved in this. Why are you doing that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are we doing I'm this? Sorry, really? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, you got to have I'm fun, sorry, eh? Sorry, That's the whole point know, of it. I'm in, but I'm in a band with an amateur. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just saying this. You're here thing. tonight to launch the inaugural launch of the Isle of Man Festival. Festival. <laughs> you looking forward to the performance? Yeah, I mean, we always enjoy being on stage, so I think that's where we flourish. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so tonight's no different, man. We're just looking forward to, to singing some songs. And we're going to sing a song tonight that's not normally always on our set, so we're spicing it up a bit. What's that Plus called? It's, it's called Talking Monkeys. Yeah. Plus, as well, the launch day could have got better because it's great weather. The and I'm hoping fantastic. the weather will be exactly the same for the festival. So. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, and no, that should be good. Prime I think the screen. weather for festivals. Goes hand in hand with the music. Yeah. And yeah, alcohol. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you might want to cut that out. <laughs> Primal Scream, Paloma Faith, Fresh 3 2, headlining, obviously. I don't know, Love All Rogues, top of the bill next year? Well, well I hope so. I, I hope that Love All Rogues will be top of the bill for this year. It'd be good. There's, I mean, there's a lot of people who are not headlining, like Laura Vula, she's obviously fantastic. Yeah, yeah. She's setting up a storm. So, I mean, we're like, it's a lot of people that do small, like, kind of not headlining and then go on to headline next year. Absolutely. But I'm just excited to be playing it, honestly. Have us back next year. You haven't I've never been it. to the Isle of Man either, so no. it's going to be Yeah, yeah. all right. Can we get, get a plane there? So, as you said, you supported Ollie Moores and that. Is that a good, good fun trip then? Wicked trip, going around with Ollie Moores everywhere. Arenas? I mean, he's like our best mate, so it's just yeah. fun to go and smash up some arenas with him. <laughs> 28 of them to be specific. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was amazing. Some of the biggest, obviously, in the UK. And I mean, it's amazing to do that so early on in our career. It's, it's, it's something I'm not sure that we anticipated. Right. So. We sold quite a few t shirts as well. Yeah, yeah you nick a few of his fans. We're in the moolah, we're in the moolah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main bit. But you nick a few of his fans then? That's what you go on tour with someone for. Just, we did tell him that, but we're like, look, we're here to nick your fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you got to do it. <laughs> and, mate, you seem like the sort of band that we, we can whip an audience into a frenzy. I suppose that's why you're, you're launching the Isle of Man Festival here. Um, is that the best part of, of being in a band for you, the live element? I think definitely it is. I mean, where we started, like, you never know how, uh, how an audience is going to take to you, so you've got to kind of just take them. Uh, yeah. The best part is definitely kind of playing live for me and also travelling. Sorry. The best part yeah, is yeah. uh the, the best oh, part. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> the best part is 
professional. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just edit that bit. No, I'm just making it clear. Oh, well, that? That? <laughs> the best part of um, be for the band for us is also it is live and it is also kind of travelling. I think it's it's really good to be able to explore and, and kind of grow as a band. I think live is when you go live is when you grow the most. So, yeah. yeah, any nerves, you <laughs> know, when you get on the stage. Like, are you not nervous tonight? Sort of a lot of people in there. Uh, do you know what? I, I don't really get nervous for gigs anymore. I don't yeah. know about you guys. Oh, nice. I do. I, I still get terrified. It's because he's a pussy. <laughs> That's going in. <laughs> I never cut any of this, by the way. Anyway, what can we expect from the debut album then? Um, a mixture, like, there's all kinds of we stuff. We can expect from oh, the debut album. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, right, that was my bad. All right, from the debut album, you can expect a, a real mixture of sounds, I guess. A lot, some reggae, some ska infused, like, inspiration. Some Just expect us. Yeah. Rocky type influences, yeah. Rocky influences. Yeah, no, I think there's a few Rocky influences. Back me, please back me. Let's not, let's not. Let's not. Have you got a title, working title for the album? It's called, it's, it's all logistical. It's not called logistical. <laughs> there's no, we there's still no haven't got a name for it yet. Waiting for tape. <laughs> and <laughs> so true, Kim. <laughs> Never <laughs> worry. Where do you get your inspirations musically from? Um, musically, I guess we get our inspirations individually. So I kind of grew up listening to very fucking loud motorbikes. <laughs> um, uh, I find it he's a disgusting Iron style. Maiden. Sorry, band. Uh, you used your turn. Okay. I yeah, want, a band I, each? Yeah, a band each. I don't know, a couple of bands each. Uh, I was oh, it has to be burned specifically. <laughs> you I you got one it's not your sats. You, 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 you said, you said but I don't want to lose. Is I grew up bad? listening, like, taking influence from my brother's sort of music, so I was listening to, like, a But I weren't asking if your brother's influence, I was asking yeah, but that's what I grew up listening, listening to my brother's influence. <laughs> it's not your question. Yeah. I grew up listening to, like. Oh, I love it. Oh, Alright, darling, come Oh. I grew up listening to, like, most of my brother's music he used to listen to, so I was always influenced by like the Kooks, Kasabian, uh, and then I started listening to a lot of radio, like pop sort of stuff. So yeah, just a Kasabian there. Is that are you playing the music now tonight? Uh, yeah, oh, I'm a DJ. As yeah, well, all right, so. there you go. Uh, <laughs> wireless. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I grew up. <laughs> so bad. I grew up listening to uh, soul, R and B, kind of also gospel. I grew up in church. That's so. your favourite artist, man. <laughs> Are you going to let me get there or are you just going to come well, out? I'm going to share time with you. Spinkled editing, I don't know if you've learned. We're going to do it. Anyway, anyway, we're not going to do it. Know what? <laughs> right, yeah, no, um, kind of people like Jagged Edge, Boys to Men, uh, Avan, Genuine, that kind of whole sound. Music Soul Child. Great right stuff. The music so. I kind of it was influenced by. And uh, sort of industry wise, the music industry, has it been the same as what you expected it to be? Has it been worse? Has it been better? Um, I don't I don't feel I had any preconceptions of how I thought the music industry would be. So so now I'm in it, I think it's just surprised me all the time because I didn't really know what it would be. So I think I, sometimes I forget that it's a business and you're not doing it for like a hobby or anything, like you're actually doing it to sell it's like sell yeah, products. Yeah. So it's like a marriage, yeah. Really. It's quite it's quite um, a fine line to get the balance between your sound because you've got to sell singles at the same time as remaining true to your sound, so it's um, that, and I think that's a tricky aspect and I think it's something that a lot of business people kind of go through and I think one that, something we didn't kind of know so it's, that's a good thing so to we're free businessmen standing right in front of you yeah but I mean absolutely I'm Without sure you are suits <laughs> no one wears a suit seven these days seven. but um, right, right. you know so the, the psycho they say if you just come up with you know like this is what we want on the album would they sort of guide you we want more of this sound that sign has there been any of those sort of arguments as yet yeah, I think it's just a real marriage, really. So, I mean, everyone like has different ideas. Um, it's just kind of finding a middle ground between everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What he says. So, what, what, what's the favourite track on the album as, yeah, as we stand here right now? I think well, I'd say my favourite track, I mean. track would be Sweet Loving. Sweet Purely Loving. because I come more from a reggae background, so I enjoy the influences with that song. That's yeah. just me. It depends what ba- like what mood I'm in. My favourite song's Honest. Honest. Just want an answer. Yeah, no, no. What mood are you in now? Just give him what he wants. Just give him an answer. Hello. <laughs> give him an answer. What are you feeling now? Oh, up the Aris. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to cement it. Like, <laughs> 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 that won't be on the Aris. That's what I'm feeling right now. Yeah, Liberty's uh, up, up the racket, so you're not, you know. Oh, you, do, you, want, you want to hear me with this song? It's a good song. <laughs> Slightly different message than they was trying to right, say. I've got a song called Up Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well. So. <laughs> but you didn't expect that, what, did you? What about 
What about the attention from the ladies then? Seeing a couple there just screaming. How are you taking that all in? I think she just got run over. Yeah, I don't think there was anything to her. The attention from the ladies is good. I mean, um, I'm not going to go too deep into it, but it's good. <laughs> I mean, we're enjoying it, shall I say. Good, good. Um, you know, you seem like quite, you know, three good sorted guys. You, you know, you're getting on well with each other. I don't well, like these We're great actors, as well as singers. So. You're taking it all in your stride? Yeah. Everything? Is that, have, you got, have, have you met any people you think, oh my God, I'm not worthy type thing? Oh, oh we uh, went to the Sony after party and Noel Gallagher was there. Yeah, that, that, that was, was, that was, that was whoa. Hey. Because like, you know like when you're young, you don't even think you'd ever be in the same room as these type yeah, of people. Yeah, and yeah, nowadays definitely. they're just knocking in and out of Sony, like left, right and centre, so it's just, it's just really odd. Like, we, um, I pulled my car up to the Sunny car park and they said, oh, sorry, can't park it today, Aerosmith. 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 Okay, okay, right, the same okay. Building, they, they can take my parking oh, space. Oh, right. <laughs> you didn't kick up a fuss then? No, no. <laughs> yeah. Can so, you tell them enough roads are here? <laughs> <laughs> so they know who we are. A bit, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Um, you covered Eternal and Blur on the first mixtape. Any other sort of covers in the pipeline that, you all, that you'd like um, to do? I, 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 like, I'm sure in the future there'll be some covers coming along, but for the first album I think we want to kind of keep it as our own stuff, just because whilst we've got an opportunity to release our own music, why let it go? I Absolutely. will say with covers though, we do tend to lean to things that not necessarily a lot of people do. Like it's kind of, we like to kind of do things that people haven't thought about for a while or or kind of bring something back in our own kind of way. So we like doing that, such as Eternal and Charmless Man. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll, there'll be a few more of those that. type of things. And, uh, you know, finally, I mean, what, what's, what's, the, what's the master plan then? Talking about Noel Gallagher. Master, master plan for, uh, for oh, like, the roads. Is to just kind of release music that we're happy with and, and keep gigging and see where it takes us. Keep, keep going on an incline and not on a decline. If, yeah. if you're always going up, then there's... Then That's the thing. Wrong, I don't really you? care how steep that incline is. I just kind of want to know that you're there. Yeah, yeah, Until yeah. Until yeah. you're at a point where you got your house and all that, and you're like, do you know what I mean? I'm quite <laughs> happy to settle there. See you later. I'd yeah. be happy with our own tour, stuff like that, like some headline tour. Maybe go continental one day. That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. Just America. Just yeah. I just want to. I just want to go. I just want to keep doing what we're doing at the yeah. moment. To be honest, I'm having a lot of fun, and if we can keep doing this for a few years, we'll have happy days. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sure you will. For somebody that hasn't quite uh, grass level roads yet, for sort of three songs that they say you can see off YouTube that they should check out that you reckon, these, these three summers are, what, what three would... Uh... Uh, well, our first single you can check out is What Night. Uh, it's uh, obviously our first single we put out very recently. And then we've got uh, Love Sick that was on Prince on Talent and as well as Honest that we played in the final of Prince on Talent. So. They're all songs yeah, they're they're all on the album, so yeah, have a listen to them. get yeah. our dynamics from all of them. Superb, but it's a pleasure to, to meet Yeah, Anything you'd like to say to music news watchers? Just buy the single, buy please. The single. <laughs> and buy the album, buy the yeah. album. When it comes out. When support, is it out? Support, support. In summer. the summer. In we summer. Haven't got when the sun's day, shining. Then there'll be an album there, next to it. Superb. Oh, tune. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers, eh? Cheers, man. Thank you. Cheers, man. Thank you. Good luck. Have a great time. Oh, thanks. Cheers, man. Sweet. Cheers. 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 Che